honeymoon in the old manor. In the heart of a dense, ancient forest stood an old manor with a history shrouded in darkness. Its time-worn facade seemed to lean toward the earth, as if burdened by the weight of its secrets. Many tales whispered of its haunting, of how the walls held echoes of agonized wails and the floors bore witness to unspeakable horrors. Yet, that did not deter Marcus and Lily, newlyweds seeking a romantic escape amidst the intrigue of the unknown. As they stepped through the creaking entrance, a chill raced down their spines, and the air grew heavy with anticipation. Dust motes danced in the dim light, casting eerie shadows upon the worn tapestries that adorned the walls. The scent of dampness and decay filled their nostrils, mingling with the fragrance of wildflowers that had managed to find their way indoors. We've got the whole place to ourselves, Marcus said, trying to mask his unease with enthusiasm. Imagine the stories these walls could tell. Lily smiled, her eyes gleaming with curiosity. It's like we've stepped back in time. The first night was uneventful, save for the distant howling of wolves that sent shivers down their spines. As they lay in bed, Marcus traced his fingers along Lily's arm, the pale moonlight casting her in an ethereal glow. But the stillness was broken when a soft whisper drifted through the air, barely audible yet laden with a sinister undertone. Lily bolted upright her gaze darting around the room. Did you hear that? Marcus strained his ears, the silence pressing upon him like a vice. It's probably just the wind. The following day, Lily discovered a hidden doorway in the manor's library. Beyond it lay a narrow corridor that seemed to lead deeper into the heart of the house. Marcus hesitated, but Lily's excitement was infectious, and they ventured forth, the flickering candlelight barely illuminating their path. The corridor twisted and turned, its walls lined with faded portraits that seemed to watch their every move. A cold breeze whispered along their necks, and Marcus swore he felt a phantom touch. Maybe we should go back, he suggested, his voice quivering. But Lily's determination held firm. Just a little farther. They emerged into a chamber that seemed untouched by time. An ornate mirror hung on the wall, its gilded frame tarnished with age. Lily approached it, her reflection wavery and distorted. As her fingers brushed the glass, the reflection twisted, revealing a figure that was not her own, a shadowy figure with hollow eyes and a malevolent grin. With a scream, Lily stumbled back her heart pounding in terror. The mirror rippled like water, and the shadowy figure stepped out, tendrils of darkness curling around it. Marcus grabbed Lily's hand, and they fled the chamber, their footsteps echoing through the corridors as if pursued by an unseen presence. That night, as they huddled in bed, they heard it again, the whispering. It seeped through the walls, filling the room with an otherworldly chorus of voices, each one distinct yet melding into a chorus of agony. Marcus clutched his head, trying to block out the sound, while Lily whimpered, her eyes wide with terror. We need to leave, Marcus said, his voice trembling. This place is cursed. But the doors were sealed shut, the manor itself seeming to trap them within its malevolent grasp. The walls seemed to close in, the ceiling lowering as if to crush them. Shadows danced along the walls, their forms shifting and twisting into monstrous shapes. Days turned into a timeless blur, their minds slipping into a nightmarish haze. Lily's once vibrant eyes had grown dull, her laughter replaced by haunted stares. Marcus's voice had taken on a frantic edge as he spoke to shadows that whispered back, taunting and mocking. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, the manor seemed to awaken with a malevolent energy. The walls trembled, and the floors pulsed like a heartbeat. The whispers grew louder, a cacophony of torment that threatened to shatter their sanity. And then, silence. 
Marcus and Lily found themselves standing in the center of the manor's grand hall, the darkness pressing in around them. The air was thick with an oppressive stillness, the shadows frozen in anticipation. And then, a voice, a singular voice, seemed to emanate from the very walls. Welcome to your eternal union. The manor trembled once more, and Marcus and Lily were consumed by darkness. To this day, the manor stands in the heart of the forest, its secrets buried deep within its walls. The whispers still echo in the wind, tales of a honeymoon gone awry, of a love devoured by the darkness that dwells within. Those who dare to venture near hear the mournful cries of the lost souls, forever trapped in a timeless dance of torment and despair.